So you're sure a 48-pound turkey will be big enough for five people? Okay. Hello and welcome to Five Things You Need to Know This Week, the show that gives you semi-relevant information about the five things that everyone's talking about. So, let's get started. Five! Thanksgiving is upon us, which means that Butterball's turkey talk line will be bombarded with calls from desperate home cooks this week. So we've decided to call up one of Butterball's turkey experts and ask her a few questions. Right now we have on the line turkey expert Marty Van Ness. So what's the strangest thing someone has asked you? Well, a lot of people want to have different ways to cook turkey. And because we have such smart, intelligent callers, they know they have a question about it. Maybe they're concerned about the method they heard. And so people want to cook maybe in an in a paper bag, which would be dangerous in an oven. Or they want to cook the turkey in, you know, in a dishwasher or thawed in a dishwasher. Just very unusual methods, and we always can find a better way to do, accomplish the same thing. Four. A brand new Muppets movie hits theaters this week, and here to talk about it is our very own Five Things You Need to Know This Week Muppet, Little Francis. Oh, good luck. I can see us down there. All right, we're back with Little Francis. So the creative team behind the new movie is pretty interesting, right? Oh, definitely. Brett McKenzie from Flight of the Concords wrote songs for the movie. And the screenplay is from the team behind Get Him to the Greek. Ah, oh, that sounds really cool. So uh, what's, the, what's the new Muppets movie all about? The new movie stars the lovely Amy Adams along with slacker heartthrob Jason Siegel. It follows the adventures of a brand new Muppet named Walter, who tries to get the entire gang back together to save the old theater from a greedy oil tycoon. Well, thanks for coming on the show, little Francis. I'm looking forward to the movie. Three! In London, a public inquiry is now underway into the hacking allegedly conducted by British tabloids. Celebrities like J.K. Rowling and Sienna Miller are expected to testify this week, and Hugh Grant recently accused a non-News Corp tabloid of hacking. One detail to emerge amid the inquiry is that News of the World destroyed a bunch of its journalists' computers by grinding them to a bloody pulp. So, we're going to conduct a little experiment here at Five Things to see what happens when you grind a computer to a bloody pulp. Hey, somebody get me a funnel! Two. Happy Turkey Day. I'm Kieran Adetham, editor of Agency Spy. The day after Thanksgiving is, of course, Black Friday. Black Friday! The biggest shopping day of the year. A bunch of stores are opening at midnight and running special promotions. For instance, Macy's has a special gift from the Biebs himself, Justin Bieber. And we're giving away Ozzy Osbourne's chest hair. <coughs> Target is giving away free gift cards with certain purchases. And we're giving away Wolf's blood. And Kohl's is using Rebecca Brack's Friday in commercials promoting its Black Friday sale. It's Black Friday, Black Friday, gotta go to Kohl's on Black Friday. Hit it! One? Thanksgiving, of course, means football. Since a ton of people who don't normally follow the NFL will be forced to watch the game on Thursday, we thought we'd put together a list of five interesting things to talk about while watching football on Thanksgiving. The matchup between the 49ers and the Ravens will be the first time in NFL history that two brothers will go up against each other as head coaches. The Detroit Lions have entered their Thanksgiving game with a winning record only four times in the last 30 years. This year, they're seven and three. Nickelback is doing the halftime show of the Lions-Packers game, and Detroit fans are boycotting the band because they're Canadian and bad. The Packers are undefeated, and their quarterback Aaron Rodgers is a shoo-in for this year's MVP award. 